Hi, this is Mark from Wiki Design. In this After Effects tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can add a motion blur to an imported 3D model like this inside of After Effects. So this is going to be a continuation to the last tutorial I just created where I have this animated 3D model flying in and I was having it fly behind this castle. So this was a much more in-depth tutorial. So if you wanted to follow this tutorial, I'm going to leave a link in the description below and also a card right up here if you want to watch that first. So the reason why I'm creating this video is because at the end of that other tutorial, I thought I added a motion blur onto the imported 3D model. But after re-watching the video and the final product, I noticed it did not have a motion blur. So I figured that this would be a good tutorial on how you can add a motion blur to 3D imported models. So let me show you exactly what the problem is. So if you go ahead and just start typing in motion blur right here into your effects and presets, this is a good one right here called the CC force motion blur effect. And you can see right here, I can add it to pretty much any of these other layers, like if it was a video or a 2D, but you can see right here, I'm trying to drag it on top of that imported uh, GLB 3D model right here, and I can't do it. So when I do it, nothing happens. So in order to get this motion blur to be added to an imported 3D model, we have to actually add a pre-composition with that 3D model and then have it you know, applied to that layer. So I'm gonna show you how easy that is to set up. And all you need to do is right click on the uh, 3D imported model, and then right here where it says, pre-compose, you're going to want to click that button and then you want to make sure you select this, move all attributes into the new composition and then you're going to hit OK. Now when you do that, you're going to notice something. The 3D model is completely gone. So what you need to do is there's this option right here called the collapse transformations. You need to actually enable that back on in order for it to show. So once I click this button right here where my mouse is, it looks like a little target, the 3D model is going to come back in. So now what we can do is go back into this motion blur effect and now we can actually click and drag it onto that pre-comp. So when I do that, let me zoom into the dragon and show you that this now has a motion blur on it. So this is after the motion blur. So you can see right here, if I turn it off, there's no motion blur. So motion blur and then no motion blur. And then inside of here, this is where you're going to just want to go ahead and change your settings. So something like 180 for the shutter angle is usually pretty good. You can even bump it up a little more if you want to add more of a blur effect. So if I go like 250, you can see he's even blurred a lot more. So now if I scrub through, you're going to see that when he's starting to move, the motion blur effect is actually enabled on this character. Because in the other tutorial, I thought by just clicking this button right here that this would enable the motion blur, but it doesn't work on 3D imported models. So as you can see in this final animation, he has a little bit of a motion blur when he's moving around the screen. So I just wanted to create this quick tutorial and show you how easy it is to add a motion blur to a 3D imported model in After Effects.